It is empties time already. Um, it feels like I just did one, but um, the bag, I only have a little bag of empties. The bag has filled up quite quickly. Um, so I just thought I'd do it because my baby likes to empty it out onto the bathroom floor every day. So, um, yeah, empties, empties. Again, the Grumpy Cow Volumizing Shampoo. I just love this. I love the smell. I love everything except for the price. Um, but um, I just get through it and get through it and get through it. Um, if anyone has any other sulfate-free shampoo recommendations, um, let me know. This. Um, so this is uh, Le Petit Marseillais. Marseillaise soap, hand soap, which I buy every year when we go to France. You get it in the Super U, which is like their equivalent of Tesco, for three or four euros. And it just smells so nice, it isn't drying. They do a sort of olive oil one and they do a kitchen one, which I have downstairs. Um, but this is my favorite. They do bath stuff as well, which doesn't really bubble. It all just smells nice. Um, but basically, I go to France and I buy as many of these as I can fit in my suitcase. Um, this, which is the L'Oreal Techno Volume Architect Thickening Blow Dry Lotion, which is a spray which I've been using in my roots um, when I've got damp hair. And I really like it. It genuinely, I find that a lot of volumizing products work for a bit and then they stop working. So I try and have a few so that I'm not using the same ones all the time. Um, and this is, is a really good one. So I get it from my hairdresser. And as we all know, I have not had my hair done since October. So um, when I do go, I will buy some more of that. This is the Liz Earl Super Skin Concentrate, which you won't be able to see very well. Um, it's usually a yellow serum. And I really like this, my sister really likes this. It's just a very good all-round serum. It's got rosehip oil, argan oil, neroli oil, natural vitamin E. So it's not going to do anything specific. It's not necessarily anti-aging. It's not necessarily, you know, it hasn't got anything really active in it, but it's very moisturizing and it is quite sort of smoothing and plumping. Um, so this is a very nice serum for someone who doesn't want anything active or specific but just wants a bit of extra moisture and a bit of extra oomph. Um, you can also use it morning and evening and it does go on nicely after, on, under a moisturiser before makeup if you let it sort of settle into your skin. More shampoo. This is my Batiste Dry Shampoo. Um, It's okay. It's better than other shampoos that you get in um, Boots or High Street. If I'm going to get a High Street dry shampoo, this is the best one. Coconut oil. This is the coconut oil. I'll put a link to it below, um, which I've been using to um, sort of like a first cleanse basically but this is one you can cook with you can use it in your hair I've been using it essentially as a makeup remover now this is not going to be good if you've got acne or you've got easily clogged pores I haven't and I've got quite dry skin so this has worked really well for me when I've had the post baby sensitivity and redness this has been fantastic because I can get the, my makeup off and it doesn't make me red, it doesn't make my skin flare up and it means that then I can use a um, other another cleanser that's got good things in it that will go straight onto my skin um, and will be less aggravating because I'm not trying to get the makeup off because this gets everything off. So I'm on my second tub of this. Um, I really like it and I really like the fact that, um, well I'll link to my full review of it below but it was set up after the tsunami to help people make money so that works for me but you just have to be careful because it does it doesn't not sit in your pores basically two more things oh. firstly is the Daniel Sandler um, intense volume pro mascara um, I really like this I think as I've 
said before, it's a kind of very grown up mascara. Um, it's got a very nicely shaped brush. It's completely smudge proof um, and long lasting and very pretty. I find that I have to work quite a lot to get the finish that I want, but then I want quite a lot of intense kind of stuff. Um, so I love this mascara and I love the fact he's done such grown up packaging. Quite often with mascaras, you don't get that. And then another mascara. This is my old faithful fat brush mascara from Ico, which I have been using on my lower lashes for years. This is the first one I bought and I have owned it for years. I'm not recommending that you do that. One of the things I love about this though is that about a month ago it started to smell, so I knew that was it. Um, and the brush uh, doesn't, it does this gross thing where it kind of springs out. It's just so clogged. Um, and I've been using this on my lower lashes because it's smudge proof and I have quite watery under eyes. Um, and because it's a fat brush and I know that you should be using a thin brush, but I am like grungy eye makeup and I don't often have time to do stuff under my eyes. Um, so this I kind of, you get a bit on the skin by accident um, and it works for me. Um, it's just completely smudge proof. I really like this packaging and as I say I really like the fact that it smelt. It meant that I know, knew that it was time to get rid of it um, and I am a bit naughty if it doesn't smell uh, and I'm just using it on myself. I will just keep using it. Um, so I have bought the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara because I felt like I should be trying something else on my lower lashes because I write about beauty and things but um, I actually wish I just rebought this because it's great. Um, so that is it. I'll put a list of everything below and um, I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.